Welcome back to another video offered to you by the Custer Academy. My name is Luke de Custer, founder of the Custer Academy. In this video, I will talk about the differences between the predictive and adaptive project management environments. But before we continue, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. So let's have a look at the differences between the deterministic and adaptive approaches. When we look at a predictive approach, we find in fact that all the elements, the entire scope is defined at the beginning. Changes that may occur are managed progressively through the project following a clear change management process. All scope management processes are done at the beginning, verification and Control is at the end, and like I said, management of changes is following a strict schedule. That's typically for a predictive environment. Let's have a look what it means in an adaptive environment. First of all, we look at a high level of change. And what we do with the scope, we decompose it in a product backlog. A product backlog contains all the items that we intend to implement, but at each iteration, requirements are collected again. We define the scope for the requirement, or for the iteration, and we create a small WBS to understand how all the things are linked together. There is a continuous engagement of the stakeholders, and we have continuous and flexible changes. So this was a very short video about the difference between a deterministic and an adaptive approach, but it's very important that you understand these differences because you will have to define, define later if we are working in a predictive or in an adaptive environment. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. Thank you, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye-bye.